Valentine's Day is coming. Did you make a card yet? I did. If you didn't make a card yet and you want one that's super cool, here is one very easy to make. Let's start. First, you're going to need two different color paper, a pencil, glue, scissors, and a ruler. For the ruler, you're going to choose which one is going to be your shirt. My shirt is going to be blue. I'm going to... First, I'm going to fold it in half to make a card. Now, you're going to take a ruler and look for four centimeters and mark it. Now, you're going to go the other way and find four centimeters on each side. And that is where you are gonna cut. Cut with both papers. So you're, I'm gonna cut from over here all the way to the end of the line here. If you pass it a bit, it's okay, but try not to. And same thing on the other side. But since there's no marking on this side, try to make it Great. And now you're going to open it up and you're going to cut the paper on the back. You might realize that over here there's going to be a little fold where you fold, folded it in half and you're going to cut on that fold. Now since you have a card here, but there is a bit longer. Don't cut it just yet. I'm gonna take this and put them together so that they touch. The corners have to touch, and then you fold them where they are. And there, you have your shirt. Now to make the tie. To make a tie, you're gonna take your other paper, mine is gonna be pink, and you're gonna fold it diagonal so that the side is attached is by the side on the other side. And then you're gonna fold it. This is if you don't have origami paper. If you have origami paper, you're not gonna have to do this. And then you're gonna cut so that you don't have any of this, the access left, the rectangle. You don't need this rectangle anymore. You can unfold it. And if you have origami paper, you're not gonna have to fold it when you're doing your square, so you won't have this line. So you're gonna have to fold it diagonally to get the fold in the middle. Now, you're going to put, take one corner and bring it all the way to the middle fold and you're going to fold it and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Bring it to the middle and fold it. It doesn't have to be a line here. Now you're going to flip it over, take the end and bring it to the middle. Try putting the corner to the fold. Now you're going to take the corner over here and bring it up. Now another fold and you're going to take it over here, bring it up and fold it. I'm gonna flip it over and now to finish your tie you're going to take these ends and put it to the middle it won't have any folds this time but in the middle you will see a fold over here but over here there won't be any folds it'll be where 
both of your sheets of paper have been together. And you do the same thing on the other side. This doesn't look like a tie, right? Flip it over and there you'll have your tie. Now it's time to glue. To glue, you find where you want your tie to be. I'm gonna put my tie right here. And now, try keeping it in space. Take your glue and just put it everywhere. Where you, just remember where you put it, that so you just put glue there. If you don't remember, put like a lot of glue where you, what in the middle here, and then you can adjust it. Here, I'm adjusting it. I want it over here. So I'm gonna stick it on, and now these flaps, we also need to stick them on. So on the corner, the one that's gonna be touching the tie, you're gonna glue on it, put glue on it, and put it in the, on the tie. Same thing on the other flap. I'm gonna put glue and attach it to your tie. If you like it like this, you can keep it. But like my other one, you might see that there's some stickers. I'm gonna add some stickers of what my dad likes. So he likes fishing. So I'm gonna add a fish. And also some paddles, because he likes going on boats. One paddle, another paddle. And now, for an anchor, because he likes those. Right there. And now you have your tie. And you can open it and write anything you want inside. Thank you for listening. Bye.